And now it's time for Student of the Week. Thank you, Mr. Scott. And as we honor our Students of the Week, we will begin with our first graders from Miss Regina's classroom, Violet. Violet, she's, and these are spelled out by Violet's name, V, very nice, I, impressive, O, our friend, L, loves to play, E, everyone likes her, T, teaches us to be kind. Congratulations to Violet for being student of the week in Miss Regina's first grade class. And for our first grade student of the week in Mr. Leal's class, Josima. Josima jumps into learning with great enthusiasm. Already this year, she has solved complicated math puzzles, sang loud and proud with Mr. Brian, and created lots of colorful art. Also, as you can see in this picture, she didn't even wait to be asked when she decided to take over the teacher's role during one of Mr. Leal's technology lessons. She is a born learner and leader and a clear choice for our first student of the week. Congratulations to Josima. And now for our second grade students of the week from Miss Rose's class, Mahat. Mahat is a shining star in second grade. His positive attitude permeates everything he does and he inspires his peers every day with his smile and cheerfulness. He works hard at counting objects, carefully lining up rows of 10 objects to count them efficiently and is building his stamina in reading books. Way to go, Mahat. Congratulations on being Miss Rose's student of the week. Our second grade student of the week in Miss Heather's class is Tyler. Tyler has shown our class how to roar each and every day. He expertly led our class out to specials on Friday, works hard at independent reading time, and has decided to read challenging books as his hope for second grade. He has been a joyful, interested scientist who asks lots of questions and looks carefully at the world. Tyler, I can't wait to see how much you grow this year in second grade. Keep up the positive attitude. You are rocking it. Congratulations to Tyler for being student of the week in Miss Heather's class. And now for our third grade students of the week, we begin with Mr. Scott's class as we honor Michael Bolden. Give me an M, I, C, H, A, E, L. What's that spell? Michael. Michael is a fantastic community member. He follows our classroom rules by always being safe, kind, and respectful. Michael does his best to listen the first time. Michael is a new student at IA this year, and he is doing a wonderful job getting to know his classmates and teachers by using his voice and words to express his thoughts and ideas and talking about his feelings. Mr. Scott is so glad you're part of our school community. Super duper superstar, Michael Bolden. Congratulations. Third grade student of the week in Mr. Whitman's class, Presol. Presol has been chosen to represent our class as our first student of the week. Presol thrives with hands-on learning and he discovered all sorts of living creatures around the shores of Lake Champlain on one of our recent nature outings. Presol was able to find crayfish, catfish, and leopard frogs underneath rocks along the shoreline. Thanks to Presol, we all know a bit more about the wildlife that surrounds us and our beautiful community. Congratulations to Student of the Week for Mr. Whitman's class, Presol. And now as we honor our fourth grade students of the week, we move to Mr. T's classroom where we honor Timothy. Timothy Lado is our student of the week. He is a great leader. He is always following the rural rules and has a great growth mindset. He cares a lot about IAA and is a great artist. Join me in congratulating fourth grade Mr. T's class, Timothy, as student of the week. Fourth grade student of the week in Miss Stephanie's class is Rajabu. Rajabu is the student of the week because he is working hard in a growth mindset. He's building his reading and writing stamina. We're glad to have him as part of our classroom community. Congratulations to Rajabu for being student of the week, fourth grade in Miss Stephanie's classroom. And now for our fifth grade students of the week, we honor for Miss B's classroom, Tristy. Tristy roars every day. She focuses on her work, asks great questions, and reads and solves math problems with a wide, awake brain. She does all of this with a calm, creative, and positive attitude. 
Thank you, Tristy, for being Miss B's student of the week in fifth grade. Our fifth grade student of the week from Miss Mary's classroom is Alamasi. Alamasi is a leader in our classroom. He is always calm and polite, and he works very hard. He is challenging himself to be the best reader and writer he can be. Congratulations to Alamasi for being fifth grade student of the week in Miss Mary's classroom. Continuing with our fifth grade students of the week, in Mr. Courier's class, we honor Naya. Naya started the school year showing the utmost respect for adults. He has shown enthusiasm to be in school, to learn, and to collaborate with peers. Lastly, he demonstrates a growth mindset consistently. Congratulations to Naya for being student of the week in Mr. Courier's class. I'd like to say a big congratulations to all of our students of the week this week. All of us here at IA are very proud of you and celebrate you as we honor you and being our students of the week for the week. Congratulations. Hello, IAA, and welcome to this week's town meeting. As we come together virtually here at school and at home, we would like to welcome our kindergarten families as well as our new families to IAA. I am Ms. Piper and I am the drama teacher here, and we are so happy to have you be a part of our community. Congratulations to this week's Students of the Week. Let's give them a big round of applause. It is such a joy celebrating each of you as you demonstrate the many ways that you roar throughout your day. Congratulations and keep up the good work. And speaking of roar, this week's town meeting focus is all about how we can roar in this new digital world. So let's take a look at how we can be digital citizens. We roar as digital citizens. This slideshow will walk us through some ideas as to how we can be respectful digital citizens. This year, we will be attending class meetings virtually. Here are some things for us to practice. Be on time and be present. Find a quiet place to sit. Use the chat box to ask questions or to respond to my teacher. My microphone is on mute. I raise my hand when I want to speak. It's important to be patient and kind. iPads and Chromebooks are tools for learning. Sometimes we learn using a pencil and paper. Sometimes we learn using our bodies through drama. Sometimes we learn through music and art. This year, we will also be learning more through technology. The show must go on. We are an incredible, awesome audience in the digital world. Although we are not all together, it is important to remember that we are still an audience as we watch town meeting virtually from our classrooms or from our home. So what is your job as a virtual audience member? Be present. Keep an open mind to all forms of art. Be an active listener. My eyes are on the speaker. I am listening and open to the ideas being shared. My body is calm. Practice gratitude. A performance of any kind. Magic mailbox, class presentations, writers read, IA players, and performances are all a gift. We show our appreciation with applause. We give a clap or a silent celebration. And now, let's practice all these skills as we watch Roaring with iPads and Chromebooks. It's a blast from the past with the Chromebooks from Mr. Leal's former second graders, now fourth graders, and a new video from his first graders showing us how to roar with their iPads. You just gently pull it out. You don't bend it. And then you take out your Chromebook. Hi, so here's how you open a Chromebook. You don't open it like really fast. You open it really slow so that you don't break this. And you wait for it to turn on. When you're putting, putting a Chromebook, Chromebook away. away, you need to match the number on the Chromebook 
Also, you have to have the number out. Yes. Also, to get the right side to plug it in. You lap up the headphones like really lightly, and then you carry them, not by the wire, by the handle. Hi, everybody. You must put a iPad in a dry place, not in a wet place. Technology should be kept dry and in safe places. It's a privilege that you get to use technology in this school. So make sure you'll be careful. Bye. You use iPads. Sparkly guide. Bye, Sophie Loria. Sparkly guide. Do you use Copyright September 2020 by the Soapy Warriors. We made rules for using the iPads. Sparkly guides, do you rule number one, keep the iPad dry. Sparkly guides, don't put it in rain, don't put coffee on it, don't put anything wet on it or else it will break. Sparkly guides, rule number two, hold it carefully. Sparkly guide. Hold it nice and careful. Sparkly guide. Do you use one number three? Put it down gently. Sparkly guide. Don't bang it on other things so the iPad might break. Sparkly guide. Keep it charged up so you can use it. Sparkly guide. Do you use iPads are fun and help you learn. Sparkly guide. Make sure you use them carefully. Wow, I sure am learning a lot all about how to be a digital citizen and technology. I don't know about you, but all this technology makes my head spin. Let's all stop and take a deep breath and take a mindful moment with Miss Mary. How to go!
I feel much better. Thank you, Miss Mary and friends for sharing one way to practice self-care by taking a mindful moment. We wanted to end this week by sharing a quote with you from a hero we lost this week, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. She once said, real change, enduring change happens one step at a time. As we move forward in the days to come, thinking about this quote in this time of change, practicing one step at a time, slowing down and remembering to take a deep breath. Remember, together we've got this. Thanks for coming to town meeting and we'll see you next week.